Hi guys, Devil Hunter XYZ, and as you can see, I'm playing a Konami game. <laughs> Been a while since I've done that, but uh, as you can tell from the uh, title of this video, I am playing Castlevania Rondo of Blood, and you know, I gotta say, uh, been quite some time since I ever played Rondo of Blood to begin with. Uh, I mean, I think the last time I really ever played it was probably about five years ago. Uh, well, back on the uh, the PSP game, Dr the Dracula X Chronicles, which came with uh, Rondo of Blood and Symphony of the Night. And, you know, right off the bat, uh, you know, right off the bat, trying to record this game, I had a few problems with this. Uh, originally, I was going to I was gonna play this game off of Dracula X Chronicles and play the Rondo of Blood game through there on my on the uh, the emulator the PPSSPP but unfortunately I kept getting um, quite a bit of uh, recording issues uh, like I kept getting some inconsistent frame rates and some audio issues whenever I'm trying to record so it was kind of strange honestly and uh, I guess after that I just, uh, just tried to find another emulator well I tried I tried finding other PSP emulators try to find other uh, other uh, types of uh, iOS files to see if it will solve the problem, but unfortunately, no. So, in the end, what I ended up having to do is I ended up uh, downloading another emulator, but it's a uh, a multi-platform emulator. I uh, can't remember the name off the top of my head, but uh, it's a multi-platform emulator, and and uh, I also downloaded the iOS files for the Rondo of Blood game for the PC Engine. So that's how I'm playing this game. Yeah, going for the run of blood. Uh, well, okay, this was just a test name, so yeah, I think I'll just start from scratch. But uh, yeah, so I decided to go for run of blood that way, and it, it plays out pretty similar. I mean, it's the English translated version, and it, comparing it to what it was on the PSP, it's roughly the same thing. I. Uh, yeah, so hopefully it works. I didn't really play through the entire game per se, but uh, I played a good portion of it and it seemed to work roughly well. Uh, granted, though, I mean, when I'm trying to use it on fraps, of course you can see like those numbers in the background. I can't really do anything about that, it's just there. Uh, maybe fraps is not really a, a good software to use for this particular emulator, I, I don't know. <laughs> but in either case, at least I got the game working, so. I guess I'm starting from a, starting to get scratch, so you know I'm going through all of it. Uh, nothing much, but just sound tests and tactics right now. But yeah. But all the issues aside, yeah. So we have a uh, Rondo of Blood, which is the fifth Castlevania game in the series. And uh, you know the thing is, I'm not really a huge Castlevania fan. I mean, I've only played this and Symphony of the Night. I mean, I know there are some other good ones out there, I, I guess, but you know, I just never really had the time to really try them out. <laughs> I mean, even for one, even for the classic ones, I, I heard like Castlevania. I think it was like Castlevania Three, Castlevania Four. They're, they're pretty decent ones. Uh, I'll be kind of on the difficult side, but you know, not too bad. But I don't know. I just kind of gotten more into the Rondo of Blood, <laughs> and of course, you see our new. Well, I guess our current hero, Richter Belmont, uh, a descendant of uh, what was it Simon Belmont from previous games. And story-wise, for this game, it just well, I guess this is technically the story right here. <laughs> but I guess from what I got out of it, uh, the Dark Priest Shaft managed to bring back Dracula, and along with that, caused havoc in the. Uh, I guess calls havoc all throughout Europe, and of course Richter's called in to try to take down Dracula. And I think also at the same time having to save his girlfriend Annette. But anyway, here are stage zero. Yeah, stage zero. Pretty simple, all you have to do is uh, face death. <laughs> well, not, not exactly facing death, all you have to do is destroy a scythe, for one thing. And of course, he's gonna shoot out a skull. <laughs> and 
And of course he just runs away. Doesn't even bother trying to finish me off. And of course you see the castle in the background. Alright, well, moving on to the actual stage one, Dinner Flames. <laughs> yeah, so this is the true first stage. And I mean like I said, so far it's playing pretty smoothly. About 60 frames per second. <laughs> Well, yeah, I'm, I'm recording at 60 frames, but most likely I'm just going to be uploading at 30 frames. Uh, well, I just think it would be a little bit easier that way for me. But uh, anyway. You know, I originally, I actually had a little bit of trouble, even after all the emulation stuff, I had a little bit of trouble trying to uh, configure controls for this. Because <laughs> yeah, I'm still using the, uh, the D4 Windows application, so I'm actually still playing this with my, my PS4 controller. <laughs> But you no, know, I just I had to somehow configure it based off of the uh, the uh, Turbo Graphics 16 controllers, you know, with the six buttons. So it was kind of awkward trying to figure that out because I've never seen those controllers before and I've never used one, so I have no idea how they function. And of course, the for configuring the controls, it was pretty vague as to the button prompts they want me to configure. But uh, it took some time, so I managed to got managed to get everything roughly similar to what it was on the PSP. Although I kind of made the, I guess I guess what it called the run button. I guess I made that to circle, and I guess also I made the. I think it was like the select button was now triangle. You know, since it mostly works for item crashes. Yeah, and with that. Um, well, I mean, if you played any of the original Castlevania games, it works roughly the same. You know, of course, you control Belmont, uses a whip, or I guess in this case, reduces a mace. <laughs> like a, a, a chain mace, anyway. Uh, of course, Richter's pretty stiff when it comes to movement and fighting. You know, it, it's like, I guess, trying to like playing Mega Man, but with really stiff controls. And of course, Richter also gets sub weapons. Of course, right now, I'm sticking with the axe. Yeah, so classic sub weapons that you can use, but also what's different in this game is Richter can actually have uh, the item crash, which pretty much does like a special, like a super special attack based off of the sub weapons. Of course, it does eat up a lot of hearts depending on the, the weapon you have. Alright, first boss, which really wasn't that, really wasn't that long to get to. So was that, that was like maybe like three or four minutes into the stage. I mean, this game itself is not really that long. I I'd say you can probably beat the entire thing in like... Well, I mean, I guess you can technically complete the bare minimum, like maybe... Oh, I can't believe I got hit. <laughs> well, I guess you can complete the bare minimum in like... I don't know, maybe a couple of hours. It's not really that long. <laughs> Although, what's different with this this game compared to the previous ones is that there are branching paths so it's not like just one linear adventure There's, there are actually some uh, alternate paths you can take in some of the stages and also alternate stages altogether which I guess I will show them off <laughs> epic backflip <laughs> yeah I like doing something at the end of the stage clear screens <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's how all the bosses, or that's how all the stages end with a boss battle, and you had to collect an orb, which doesn't make much sense. Alright, stage two, God grant me strength. If I can get this guy to great. <laughs> Alright, switching out for the dagger. Destroy the crows, because they are so annoying. <laughs> and, and that's kind of the thing about this game. It, uh, it's it is a little bit on the difficult side mainly because the enemies kind of I don't know I guess the mo the enemies movements are kind of sporadic. <laughs> it's kind of hard to really predict how they're gonna move. It's almost like you kind of have to bait and switch them. <laughs> oh, we got the knights, which takes so many hits. Oh, this is gonna hit that time. <laughs> Of course, going into the castle. Of course, get now zombies. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of filled with pretty much the most cliche type of enemies you can find in a game like this. You got bats, zombies. 
<laughs> you got werewolves, floating eyeballs. Huh. And of course, this little section here of the castle is obviously paying tribute to the first game. I mean, I think the layout is roughly the same. We're getting a little bit slow down. Oh, no. Okay, at least the cross helped me out. Okay, so a little bit of slowdown, but I mean, I was... Well, I mean, there's so much things on the screen, so... <laughs> what do you expect? Oh no, got a giant behemoth. <laughs> Trying to run. Oh, good. Got myself the key. <laughs> That's good. And you'll soon find out why. <laughs> I'm just trying not to get hit by the zombies. <laughs> yeah, I kind of find it strange. It's like everything just stops completely whenever Richter goes through a door. <laughs> Alright, so surprisingly the behemoth dies by crashing to the wall, but... <laughs> anyway. Uh, I had to go through this section right here. Oh, man, I was going to get hit. <laughs> Out of my way. Alright, see cage door, use the key. And we see a shaft again. <laughs> Get out of here. Alright, and here's one of the more interesting cutscenes. Just notice the voice acting is a little bit off sync with what's being shown. Well, actually, I think that's always been the case. I mean, I think this is more intended for you know, Japanese dialogue. <laughs> My name's Maria Renard. I heard all about you from Annette. I came here to beat some bad men. Hmm. Wait a minute, how does Maria know Annette? Sure, we only just met. Let's be friends. You just let the big hunter here take care of that bad man, okay? Hey. I can handle this just fine. Oh, pretty cheesy cutscenes right there. But how dare Richter makes fun of Maria? Yeah, but seriously though, I mean, who doesn't like Maria? I mean, having a little save Maria is actually pretty important because um, with that you can actually play as Maria Renard. And I gotta say though, Maria plays uh, a lot differently compared to Richter. I mean, she uh, she can do a double jump, she can attack while running. Her movement speed is actually a little bit faster than Richter. Honestly, I'd say. Altogether, I think Maria's a better character than Richter. I think the only downside is just her health is kind of pretty low. I mean, she can't really take hits. I think maybe she goes down like like three or four hits. So, you kind of have to be careful with that. But even with that, I still think she's a better, a better character than Richter. But hey, I mean, that's just my opinion. I mean, of course, I'm comparing Richter here in this game, not who he was in uh, Symphony of the Night. That's a completely different story. <laughs> well, of course, we have the werewolf. The second dude is about getting hit. <laughs> Health is a little bit low, but I do have the holy water, which I think the holy water is probably the best item in this game. Okay. Oh, ah, cheap. Alright, item crash, going for the Hydro Storm. I know too bad it doesn't last as long as Symphony of the Night. Come on, just one more hit! <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh yeah, that's another thing too. Sometimes these bosses can do um, final attacks. Like when their health reaches zero, they just do one last attack to try to take you down, which is kind of cheap actually. Especially at times when your health is pretty low. Alright, stage three. <laughs> Not really one of my fun ones, kind of. I, I mean, I do like the fact that you have a remix of the Bloody Tears theme. Uh, that's pretty good. Ugh, I, don't, I don't like the spear guards here. They are kind of a little bit annoying. And it's like the range of their spears is also kind of outrageous at times. Yeah, so anyway, uh, with Maria... Uh... You know, interesting thing is, I guess depending if you're playing Rondo of Blood or the remake... Oh, Kimmo got hit. Uh, if you're playing Rondo of Blood or if you're playing the Direct Last Chronicles, the relationship between Maria and uh, Richter is a little bit odd. <laughs> yeah, so, I don't know. It, it really depends on which continuity you want to follow, I guess. Because, um, I think if you're playing... The remake, Dracula X Chronicles, Maria is considered to be Annette's sister. Which that would technically mean... Well, I mean, I guess not much of a spoiler, really. I mean, this game's been out for years, yeah. Uh, of course, Richter and Annette, uh, you know, fall in love with each other, yeah. But, um... I guess that would technically make Maria Richter's sister-in-law. At least in terms of the Direct Layers Chronicles, but uh, in Rondo of Blood, I think they just made it pretty vague and say that uh, Maria is just like a relative of Richter or something like that, like a long distance relative. So it's pretty vague in, in, that, in that relationship, but so I guess it really depends, honestly, which one I want to follow. But I guess technically the Rondo of Blood game is came out first, so I think that's technically more canon. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. Got myself the watch. I, mean, I think it's a stopwatch. <laughs> okay. Of course, we got the long stairway. <laughs> uh, of course, we got the hunchbacks. Fleeman, whichever you want to call it. <laughs> A little bit awkward to deal at times, especially with their size. Oh, come on. Yeah, the, the Holy Bible. I, to, I was trying not to get it. <laughs> yeah, I think, the, I think the stopwatch is going to be a better choice for me now. Come on. Oh, God, so many Fleeman. Alright. Upstairs. Okay, I'm trying to go through the pit. I'm trying. <laughs> See, I think I might need to activate it again. On. Oh. Oh, I was trying to get hit. I, I do like the f the effect of the watch. I mean, it slows down time for like five seconds, <laughs> which may not seem like much, but it can help in some. Some situations. Uh, guy, I don't remember what this enemy's name is anymore. <laughs> Such a long time ago. I just know it takes a lot of hits. Come on. Come on, get down. I'm trying to get hit. Okay. That's good. Uh,. Huh. Wait, wasn't there something supposed to fall from the bell, or... Oh wait, maybe I need the book. I think that's what I needed. Oh. Either that, or maybe I'm just confusing it with the remake. <laughs> well, I mean, the thing is with the... Uh, the Dracula Chronicles remake for the Ronald of Blood, they kept everything mostly the same. They just kind of added some new things. Like, I remember they added in the... The, uh, what was it, the, the 
blood walls, the blood bone walls, whatever. And then he also had a, like, ice crystal walls. Which kind of makes saving the other maidens more of uh, importance, I guess. I mean, here there are actually four maidens to save all together. Of course, yeah, I've got Maria already saved, so she's she's fine. <laughs> but of course, you get two other ones, and then you also got Annette. But I mean, it's not really. I guess it's really not worth anything to saving the other maidens or you know, the other two missing ones. Not in this game, anyway. In the remake, yeah, because you know they can help build up, they can help uh, open up more obstacles or pathways. <laughs> oh no, the thief! Oh no! <laughs> oh come on, man! I needed that axe too. Oh, I don't think going down there is not going to really help, is it? <laughs> Man. Ah, that sucks. <laughs> if I had the axe, I could have broken down the boulder, kind of, which would have shot me back up. Man. <laughs> Guess I had to come back to that later. Actually, I'm kind of considering how I'm going to do this, really. I want to show all the stages, but at the same time, I want to show Maria as well. I don't know, maybe I could do alternate stages with Maria. I, I guess I can do that. Yeah, yeah, maybe I might do that. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Another boss. And this one is the Minotaur. <laughs> Uh, luckily not... Well, okay. I was going to say, luckily not attacking me that much, but... Uh, what? Well, really, I think it's because the hitbox is way big. <laughs> Holy cross. Uh, well, okay. I'm not really a fan of the Holy Cross in this game. Or, I mean, like, doing the item crash... Not as spectacular as the one in Symphony of the Night, where it kind of creates a a pillar of crosses, and then it creates a blinding light which damages everything on the screen. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's probably the best one. Okay. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Alright, try to do an epic pose if I can. Yeah, I guess that worked. <laughs> oh, yeah, with the stage clear, they always grade you on the amount of life you have left and the number of hearts you have. And really, the whole point of the... I mean, the whole point of the score stuff is just to build up points and just to get more lives. But you know what, thinking about it, lives are kind of meaningless because you could just continue from where you left off. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> it really doesn't. I mean, I guess it's just there for the sake of getting a high score. I guess competing against other people. Like, uh. But in a game like this, who really cares about score? Of course, I got this snake thing. Kind of awkward to deal. Oh, good. I was trying to get a couple of hits. Come on. Oh, down. Now they're fleeman. Oh, okay. Almost got hit there. Of course, it went away. Oh, come on. Oh, it looks like I made another life. That's good. Let's see. I think actually there are two paths I can take. I can either go all the way right, but... Hold on. 
I think I'm gonna go for this thing's alive again. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll go for this little stairway here. Well, you know, at least luckily climbing the stairs in this game is not as bad as what I've seen in the older games. Well, I mean, you're nothing more than just like a tank or something. I mean, here you can actually jump on and off the stairs, so that's good. And you can actually still use your weapons too, so hey. I mean, I can only imagine how this game would have played if it had the same restrictions as the first game. I guess I'll try out the Bible. Or I guess the book, whichever you want to call it. I guess people don't want to, you know, be reminded of uh, religious, <laughs> religious aspects of this game. <laughs> Maybe that's why some people call the holy water the firebomb and the holy cross the boomerang, I guess. Oh no! I got overwhelmed. I mean, how am I supposed to dodge all the axes? And the spike ball. Oh. And I've lost my holy cross. Alright, I guess I have no choice but go for the axe. Ow. Try this again, if I can. Whoa, that was close. I almost got hit. And that would have sucked. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can get through this without getting hit. Alright, uh, you know what, maybe I should just go right, I mean, why not? I mean, I think, uh, I think it'd be okay if I just keep going, oh, wait a minute, uh, no, actually, I think maybe, no, I think it would actually be easier if I just Go through that small section. A little bit tougher, but it'd be shorter. Because if I remember, I think going through the going through the right, a little bit easier, but it's a little bit longer route. I don't know. I guess it's really up to you, <laughs> whichever you want to go. You know, and that's kind of how I like it. You know, give us multiple paths you can take, offers more replayability. They can try to take out the Fleeman. Okay, where is the knight? All right. Ow. <laughs> okay. Kind of surprised I. Took him down that easily. Oh, good checkpoint. <laughs> yeah, so the doors kind of act like checkpoints for the stage. You know, I'm gonna go back to the cross. I think that might help. Oh, trying to get hit. Try not to land into the spikes. Oh, oh, okay. Health is not looking too great either. Where's a pot roast when I need one? Actually, I kind of find it strange that food is the only way to replenish health. Because I think what was in the game was a. I think what was in the game was like a pot roast or like a pork chop or whatever. 
But it kind of makes it strange should all the hearts in the game are just nothing more than, I guess, ammunition for the sub-weapons. It's just a strange way of thinking about it. Man, it kind of sucks and went down again. It was kind of interesting that the spikes are not going to insta-kill me. Huh. Why did I thought they were going to do that? Or maybe it's just by kind of platforming instinct. Whenever you see spikes, you always think insta-kill. Oh, come on. Oh man. Didn't want to hit the switch. All the flea are going to be spawning. No. Oh my god. I, oh man. Oh, I'm so dead. <laughs> Come on, what's going on? <laughs> I was doing good. Now all of a sudden I'm starting to die so much in this stage. Alright, try to take it one step at a time if I can. Alright, good. Of course, we got this snake thing again. Hopefully, the Holy Cross will work. Okay. Uh, I think this was some kind of combination. I'm trying to figure out. Oh, man. Oh, come on, really? Ah, uh, you know what? I'm gonna kill this thing. Get out of my way. Go down. Get out. Thank you. Trying to see which combination was. Uh, okay. Okay, honestly, I have no idea. I don't remember anymore. I'm not sure if I'm even making progress. Um, Okay, I really have no idea. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really getting anywhere. <laughs> I don't know, I, I just need to look up a guide again to find out what the combination is. I don't really think it's worth anything, I think it's just more money, more points. Ah, forget. I'm just wasting time. Actually, if I remember correctly, there is a little... Yeah. Got a heart, and got the stopwatch. We got more knights. Whoa! Surprised that I actually missed. Uh, you know, what? I'm sticking with the stopwatch. Okay, <laughs> doing pretty good so far anyway. Oh no, the Red Knights. Oh man, a little bit more deadly to deal with. Oh, oh okay. 
Well, <laughs> alright, that's kind of strange. Uh, stopwatch. <laughs> Surprisingly, I went through the spiked... A set of spikes. <laughs> Which I guess helps. <laughs> At least I don't have to deal with the knight. Oh. No. Jump. Okay. Can just reach up here. That'd be nice. Okay, no secrets. Alright, another boss. Huh, although I kinda doubt I'm gonna get through this one. <laughs> I can only afford one hit. No, actually, no, I can't afford anything. <laughs> if I hit, I die. <laughs> well, I just gotta hope for the best, I guess. Alright, let's try this and see how it goes. All right. Trying to get close, but I, I just don't like I just don't like bosses with long range weapons. Oh, of course the watch is not even working. Well, that kind of sucks. Ah, wow. Okay, well, so much for that. Well, I guess I have no choice but the, the uh, holy water. Uh, I got 21 hearts, so I can only afford <laughs> one hydro storm if I really need it. Well, let's just see if I do need it. I don't know. Maybe be better off this time. At least I have full health. Man, but just thinking about it, I just lost like four lives in just this stage alone. <laughs> But like I said, I mean, continues don't really mean anything now. Go Hydro Storm. Alright. Health is low, but maybe I can try to pick him off? Come on. He's trying to get close to it. Of course, I'm trying to watch out for that ice pillar attack he does. Wow, okay. Alright, I'm trying to look for an opening, but he's not really giving me one. Oh, okay. Hit, hit. The head attack. <laughs> There you go. We're a little bit slow down, but okay. Alright. Not too bad. Wow, well, actually, it kind of was bad. <laughs> Hope we can make up some more points to get another life. Alright, I think this is just regular stage life? Yeah. Stage 5, but you know what, I'm going to probably call it right here. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Sorry, just force a habit, always pressing the options to start. Alright, there you go. Alright, I guess that's it for right now. I guess I'll pick up the game a little bit later. This is Dove Hunter XYZ, and until next time...